in prison, all the convicts tell these people what they want to hear. Because if you say what something they don't want to hear, they'll lock you up in the hole and accuse you of scaring them. So all these fucking guys and all these people that work in the, in the administration and the law procedure, they don't have any fucking idea what's really going on because you can't tell them what's going on because their minds can't even deal with what's going on. So you have to say, hello, Mr. Joe, how you doing? Sure, I'm good today. How did you do that? Well, aren't you wonderful? You're just such a beautiful guy. You think, oh, I notice you gained a little weight. <laughs> How's the wife? You can't tell them that they're out there in the, in the bushes to just taking it off and doing what the fuck ever they want to do when no one's looking. You can't tell them that they're turning out books and matches and people are getting out and just setting this motherfucker on fire because they won't get right in the basement, you dig? So you see, the world is coming to an end and you want to make a holocaust back to 1941. That's not a holocaust. That was man's war against man. That's not God's war against man. God is in everything, you know. We need to fix the water. We need to uh, uh, help the damn trees. We need to stop the fucking pollution. We need to stop them damn automobiles and uh, do a lot more walking. Get back to bicycles. Quit using paper. Quit wiping your ass with the trees. Quit wasting all the fucking paper, man. Take the best of technology and use that technology to help the nature and help life get back to itself. Rather than try to put a man on the moon, let's try to put a man down on Earth. Let's try to get someone back to the planet, back to the stagecoach. You know, it's like we can go backwards in time and, and run like crazy, like our heads are on fire. Did you notice my head was on fire? You know, I got burned up. I got burned up for telling a guy uh, the truth. He didn't like it. He didn't want to hear that, you know. Well, I was trying to get an inside track on some authority, see, but there don't seem to be any authority in the police. I think it's all, uh... When the black Muslims found out there was nobody there, they started calling them pigs because they couldn't find no people. So all the people had retired. See, everybody retired, and then everybody retired, and everybody retired again, and everybody retired again. And you can't seem to find anyone that can make a decision without somebody worried about what someone else is thinking or someone else is saying and somebody else is retired. And then when uh, uh, Rodney King jumps up and sues uh, Gates, then Gates jumps over and says, well, at least we got Manson locked up. And he finds reassurance in me uh, being destroyed every day. And he finds reassurance in cutting my fucking nuts off every day. Like, that's going to help him. You know, he's cutting his own fucking stupid fucking balls off, ignorant asshole. You know, so I don't know what to say about it. Ain't much I can do, you know, but just keep on with uh, with what I know and the people that I know and that are the ones that are with me and helping, you know. Anything that anyone does that's new is against the law. They gave, they wanted to write me up and put me in the hole. And the guy said, well, what has he done? He hasn't done any wrong. Well, there must be something wrong here. We just don't know what it is. Uh, well, uh, he can't do that. O.J. does it. Uh, 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 everybody else gets to do it. Why can't he do it? Well, uh, he can't do it because they're... Uh, and they don't know why. It's just I can't do it because no one wants to let me live. Because they're all suicidal. They want someone to send them to heaven. They want to go to heaven with their dead God, man. You know, I filed an appeal for a trial. I still didn't get to put on my rights. I didn't even get to put on a defense, guy. And I just filed a habeas corpus to put on a defense, and they denied that, you know. So I don't know. I'm just going to throw it on the trash can. They did anything they want. And there was a DA, like, they'd be talking a lot of shit. I said, why are you prejudicing the people with that? He said, well, we got to do it to write a book. I said, write a book? He said, what do you mean? He said, well, if it goes out through the courtroom, then it's part of the public record, and we can use it to write a book. All the lawyers were doing it were writing books. Every lawyer there wrote a book. Witness to Evil, Five to Die, Susan Atkins' Confession, Helter Skelter, everybody there wrote a book. They wrote The Family, uh, all them other books that they wrote, Garbage People, all them lawyers wrote books. They didn't do the, the Korean lawyer was flying to Japan and selling the transcripts to Japanese movie companies, and they were making them samurai movies, the family of samurai movies. Yeah, in other words, they opened up a whole house of samurai over there with that. That's when they come over to interview me in Vacaville. 
Well, I don't have, I don't, I don't, truthfully, I don't have the education to do that. I need help for that. And I can't get the right help because when I tried to do it, that Emmons run off and wrote his own book. And then he said it was Manson in his own words. It wasn't my words, it was his words. And I've known him for 17, 18 years. And then he got a little bit from other friends of mine, and uh, he just put it together, the rest of it, for himself, you know, and made it up. And I got other things to do. See, I don't have access to this phone like I should. And it was, I only got access to this phone just a little bit. And then when I do get on, then I got some monkey-headed motherfucker cutting me off all the time. And then they got all kinds of little, uh, little drag-ups and rules and regulations that don't amount to anything that somebody made just so they could feel like they were important about something, you dig? That really has no, no, no reason for them. It's just a, a maze of, 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 of things that people have done and made and built and then they retired. And then they make a whole bunch more and then they retire. And then they create a whole bunch more madness and then they retire. So pretty soon everybody that's done all this and got all this fucking thing locked down have already retired. They've already gone. And we're sitting here in the shadows of people that are already dead. You know, that's why some of them prison gangs that are getting outside and running that shit outside call themselves the Crips. Crips are really all over everywhere, man, because the people are waking up to the graves. They're waking up that the people that are alive are not really alive. They're the dead ones. The people that made up this goddamn game are already dead. The people that are living in the game that is made up, they're only programmed to it. They're programmed through school and their mother's fear. They're programmed through bullshit. They're not even here. They're only, they're only a, a, a program pattern in their brain like a, like a robot, man. Like they're Robocop. You know, like they got uh, all these Robocops just running around, just play acting the games that other people retired with. And, you know, it's gone, man. It doesn't exist. And there was penitentiary that they don't even know what the hell they got a penitentiary for. Why a penitentiary uh, for? They think a penitentiary is to to lock people up and then they say no a penitentiary is to punish someone and then then they're not sure and then they they're splitting their attitudes and they all put on suits and get in circles and put on faces and lie to each other they're not telling the truth about anything truth is that they're just bullshitting themselves they give you parole one day and take it back the next you know in other words then they change the rules and then they change the rules to change the rules with now they want to come back and take away the rules that we fought to change and then we fight for a group of people to help bring change and off the oppressor uh, and get him off to where we can get out of the oppression. And then these other motherfuckers that were fighting for the oppression join the oppressors, and then they come back doing the same goddamn thing, only worse. It's just a circle suck of bullshit, you know, and it's all doomed to destruction because no one will give it a chance to live.